What is up guys, it is Cyborg here and today's video is going to be my top 10 skins that I own. Not my top 10 skins, just the ones I have to own. I don't own many skins, so just this is going to be a bit weird to most people's. But this is my personal list, this is my opinion on skins that I like, I feel are good and I do well with the skins. So without further ado, let's get in to my top 10 skins in Fortnite Battle Royale. So number 10 is my most recent addition to my Fortnite connection. It is a Skull Trooper. Obviously, this is recently released for the second time. It's been out for three days now in the shop, so a lot of people are getting this skin, which is annoying the OGs. But we do get the green glow, and they get the purple glow. So I guess, you know, we can spot who had it the first time round. But I do like the skin, but not as much as some other skins on this list. I've only recently got it, so I haven't had a feel with the skin a lot. But maybe in the future, this will change and go higher up in my top 10. But now on to number 9 is one of the tier 1 skins of the season 6 battle pass is DJ Yonder from the twin turntable set. I do like the skin, especially with the um, the back bling on it, the waveform. Um, obviously, this is pretty new, but I've been using it a lot because I feel like it's a very good skin. It's like it's like a sparkle specialist kind of skin, which I think was really good. But unfortunately, I didn't play really in season two. I didn't get a battle pass. But overall, this is a very good, solid skin, and I think Epic have done a very good job with the season six battle pass. Next one is the Omen, a skin that was quite rare for a while, and then they re-released it, which I think it's still quite rare because not a lot of people like the skin. But personally, I like the skin because it reminds me of one of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters, if not my favorite Sub Zero, and he's Cold Steel, I think it's called, or Blue Steel in Mortal Kombat X. It looks kind of similar to him. If I can find it, I'll put a picture on the screen. But I do perfectly like the skin, the cape's really cool, the hood's really cool, and the whole Overseer set is a very cool set in Fortnite, not a lot of people like, personally I do. Number 7 now sees the only Season 3 skin on this list, the Elite Agent, with the Sub Commando, Twitch Prime Batbling, Catalyst, this is a very good skin combination. I know Matt, Cypher Blurry, likes his skin a lot. Personally, I do as well. Um, I do use it a lot, but not as often as I probably should, because it's a very good blend. You don't see it often anymore, and I kind of like the skin. Now, controversial one. Red Knight. This skin was so rare then it was released three times I got it the second time it came out because I really liked this skin and a lot of people did as well but the OGs obviously they are very annoyed they got released and for me personally having it the second time I'm annoyed it got released a third time but for me the skin is very good and I've got a lot of wins of it and I'm enjoying to more with the skin now here we are halfway mark this is my skin, the Omega. I choose this as my mascot kind of skin, but I don't use it really at all. But I do like the skin. I'd probably use it a lot more if I actually unlocked the colours for it, which I didn't get to do because I only got to like level 78, which was very close. But I was away a lot during Season 4, so I wasn't able to play. But, you know, if I did get the colours, I'd probably use this a lot more. But obviously, this skin will always have a place in my heart. As my mascot for the channel. Now this is a bit of a weird one. This skin I did not mean to buy at all. I was only looking at the styles for it. And I accidentally purchased it. But Epic wouldn't refund it. And I ran out of refunds. But to be honest. I really like this skin. This is one of the two rare footballer skins I've got. And... To me, especially with the Sweden outfit, the skin looks really amazing and it's very underrated. And I think Dark Dakotas uses it quite a lot, but it is a very good skin in my opinion and I've got a lot of wins with it. 
Now, the second Tier 1 Season 6 Battle Pass skin, The Calamity. I really like this skin, and the Max Evolution is amazing, but my personally, my favourite is the one here. It's really good, but I cannot wait to get the Max one, because it just looks so amazing, especially the pickaxe you get. Not a lot of people like it, but I really do, and I think, like, Every single stage for the Calamity is absolutely amazing and Epic has done a brilliant job of this skin and I'm surprised it's actually a tier 1 skin. Like, it's actually amazing. Here we have my number 2 skin, the female equivalent to the Omen skin, the Fate. This is a very good skin and I really like the back bling to it as well. It doesn't match well with pretty much any skin at all. But for me, I've been using the Ominous Orb backbling with the DJ Yonder skin. I think that's kind of a good mix. So if you ever have a chance to get the skin again, I do recommend it because not a lot of people like it. It's very underrated and it's actually a very good skin. But if you don't like it, that's okay. It's your opinion. But for me, this is my second favourite skin I own. But I hardly ever wear it because of my next skin, which I wear a lot. Who would have thought... My number one skin was an uncommon scorpion. I love this skin so much. I've probably got my most wins with this skin, and I've only even ha I haven't really had it for a long time. But most of my wins did come in season five. So to be honest, the skin is a very good skin. It's like it's come out I think like three or four times now. And if you ever ever have the chance to buy it again, I do recommend it because although it doesn't blend well a lot unless you're in Paradise Palms, it is a very good skin, and. To me, it is my number one on my list, and this tops up the top 10 favourite skins in my collection.